Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a matrix question within your Salesforce survey. So this is going to be a question of like on a scale of dissatisfied to most satisfied, how would you rate your experience? It's kind of really that kind of question. So uh, one thing I do wanna mention before getting too far is that you do need to have surveys enabled as well as that you do need to have the special Salesforce surveys advanced features permission assigned to your user. And that is only with the feedback management license. So you do need to have a special license to have this currently in a developer org that has this enabled. I'll show you what that permission looks like. I've already created that permission set. Yeah, again, I think it's just surveys, surveys, Salesforce surveys, advanced features is what the actual thing is called. And you do need to have that toggled on and then assigned to your user. So let's go and jump back to the front end of Salesforce and go to surveys. All right, I'm gonna go into this customer satisfaction survey template, open the latest version. All right, let's go ahead and add a new page. And I'm just gonna label this page a matrix question. All right, let's go ahead and add a new question and have this be the matrix question. I'm just gonna have this one be, please rate the following. All right, and now down here, we can go ahead and enter in the different choices that we have. I'm gonna say, uh, dissatisfied, I probably spelt that wrong. Um, neutral, and then I'll have this be satisfied. Of course, we can enter in more. So if you wanted to have your matrix question, you could go ahead and do that. Um, this is multiple selection. I'm gonna have this be single selection. Please rate your satisfaction with our product. Okay. And then I'll do another question that's going to be, please rate your satisfaction with our team. And then I'll do another one about our brand. And then again, we can add more choices here if we wanted to have this be slightly dissatisfied or enter in a slightly satisfied in a scale. And then we can enter in more questions up to 10 questions. Of course, if you wanted to go more than 10 questions, you could just like copy paste this or you could duplicate the page. And then uh, let's see duplicate it. I'll, I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. I'm going to save it. And then duplicating the page should give us the same questions. Yeah. It just gave us the same questions. So then you could just keep the same answers and then um, rename this and then enter in the next set of 10 questions. So I think 10 is probably a good amount to keep your customers engaged. Maybe you wanted to go down to five, but regardless, um, that's for you to decide when you are creating your survey. But that is how you create a matrix question within your Salesforce surveys. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. You can check out the courses down below or on salesforceupskill.com. Check out the blog at salesforceemily.com. And thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one.